Hello, I'm Claire, welcome back to the channel. You're joining me in the greenhouse because it's really time for me to get my sojo on. It's the 1st of May and I'm a bit behind with what I've been sowing, mainly because I have absolutely zero space in the house for anything else under grow lights. So I'm ahead, I wanted to wait until the 1st of May and just get these things sown directly in the greenhouse. So I've got my cucumbers and my squashies, so that's courgettes, pumpkins, I'm gonna get everything sown now. We've actually had some amazing weather the last few days. It's really warmed up. It's sort of recording between eight and 10 degrees overnight. So things are doing a lot better anyway. The ground is drying up, which has meant that we've been able to get our cattle out. So they've been stuck in all winter. Our winter has been especially long this year. They came in really early because it was so wet in autumn. So it's been absolutely brilliant to see them all frolicking about in the fields. And now we have the daily walks to check to see if they're okay. So it's just, it's just brilliant. It feels like spring is finally here or hitting, should I say. Apparently we've had the wettest 18 months in the UK since records began in 1836. And I mean, I, I was going to say, and I can well believe it, but why wouldn't I? It's the truth. It's fact. And we've definitely been really struggling this year. So moaning about the weather aside, it's rather warm in the greenhouse, I must say. What am I sowing first? And I'm going to choose this courgette. I thought it looked a little bit more interesting than the normal courgette. It's called Boldenice F1. Now, probably shouldn't sow too many seeds because we all know that we're overrun with courgettes when they do get growing. I'd love to know what varieties you're growing. I did a yellow courgette last year and I'm not doing that again. It was a prolific cropper, but I have this thing about yellow vegetables on my plate. It's why I don't particularly like sweet corn unless it's mixed in with other veg. I just don't like yellow on a plate. I know, I'm weird. So I'm not doing a yellow one this year. I'm gonna sow three. Always sow the Kirkabit seeds on their side. I learnt that one last year. So I'll do those and put a little label in. That's the first thing sown. Next on the list are these patty pans. I'm choosing the custard white variety simply because, as I've just said, I don't like yellow vegetables on a plate. So I'll pick the white ones. Again, I'm going to just sow three. I'm sowing them on their sides. That's that done. I've got my next tray here ready. I'm going to sow cucumbers in here. All that I've just said about growing yellow things, my first ones are crystal lemon. I just thought they would look a little bit different, but they'll probably be in a sandwich or mixed into a salad, won't they? So it won't look quite so bad having yellow on a plate with those. I'm now standing here looking at all of these different varieties of cucumber and wondering just how many cucumbers I actually need to grow this year and probably not all of those so huh, eeny meeny miny mo. I think I only need two of these varieties on top of the crystal lemon so I think I'm gonna grow hmm, I think I'm gonna go for telegraph and might do a market more outdoors and the Ladiva the little ones so unfortunately fern spot is going back in the box now, if you're going to tell me in the comments that fern spot is the one that I should have sown, then please type quickly and I'll come back out and do them. So there's the cucumber sow, crystal lemon, ladiva, telegraph improved and market more. Now they see I've left a cell empty there because I'm pretty certain I'm going to come back and put fern spot in though. I've just been sent on a mercy mission across the plot because Duncan is letting some of the cows out for the first time. We've already let some out as I've already mentioned but the next batch are going out and they've not seen the plot before. We happily know where they're supposed to be going. That's gone well. One of them's jumped straight into the horse field. Oh dear. Hello, Pablo. Right, let's go and see where this cow is now. Pablo's like, I'll come and find it with you, Mama. Duncan saw it jump back. I found the staple they've pinged off the fence.
All sorted, now it's time to get back to the plot. Bye bye Pablo. nearly time to bring the chilies and the peppers outside I can't do that until I've made space in the undercover growing areas outside to put them in so some of these things are going to have to start going in the garden and I think first on the list is the celeriac our overnight temperatures aren't too bad for the next week and these either needed potting on look at that or planting out so I think I'm going to go for the just plant them outside my biggest problem is deciding which of my beds I'm going to put them in This variety is Giant Prague, and I have 10 of them. Oops. Which is not a great number, really, is it? I'm going to go ahead and try and get these out of the pots. Oh. Got the roots on that. Feeling a very cruel plant mother. I think they're going to enjoy being in the actual ground. Get the last one in off the roots I will give them a good water I've no real idea how big these giant prog get so I'd rather give them more space than not enough space for this first year because I know that the leaves do sort of flatten out because the normal celeriac that I grew last year they needed quite a bit of space for the leaves to open up Fingers crossed that these grow well and I get to enjoy plenty of celeriac mash later on in the year. I want to check on these next. This is, if you remember, where I sowed my swede. And I want to see if anything's come up because I can't see very well through the cloches with the condensation. So let's just see if we have any swede because that would be rather exciting. Well, I think we do, if you zoom in and ignore some of these weeds that I need to get out, I'm pretty certain that that is Swede there and a few more up the other end. This one looks to have far better germination, so that's really good. be a fair bit of weeding to do here. You know what it's like, the weeds start growing quicker than your plants, don't they, this time of year? So if you're feeling overwhelmed at the amount of weeding and work that you've got to do in your gardens, just know that you're not alone. A lot of beans I'm growing this year and the first I'm going to sow today are these Greek Gigantes so I'm just going to do a few rows of these well two I think I believe they're very prolific but oh, it's making me hungry just doing this I could just have these in a bit of a stew and in fact there's only enough to do three rows anyway so I might as well just do all three rows I also have these Scarlet Emperor runner beans. Now I've chosen these 
because well, the colours of them are just gorgeous. So I'm going to have these going over the other archway along my main path in the vegetable garden. I think they will look absolutely beautiful. I'm just watering them, but I'm not going to leave these in the greenhouse. I am actually going to pop them on the shelf in the polytunnel just to discourage mice. I will also put the lid over them to help them, so I shall take those round shortly. Now I have got some more of these smaller cells. I just bought the insert so you don't have to use a special garland tray. They will just fit in any old tray. Although I have to say, garland have these on offer everywhere at the moment, so it's probably cheaper to have bought the combined unit now than it is to do what I'm doing, which is just to have bought a pack of inserts to use in your own trays. See, I haven't actually bought any specific trays and lids for these because I've got plenty, but if you're buying trays and lids anyway, you might as well just buy the complete kit. I'm going to sow my climbing French beans. I have a few varieties, but the ones I've got out first are these purple podded ones. I love French beans. One of my favourite things to eat. Last year it didn't occur to me to grow extras that we could freeze. I didn't have as much space anyway, obviously, with having the smaller plot last year, but even so, I don't know why it didn't occur to me to freeze some of them, but it didn't. I was just giving away what we couldn't eat. Whereas this year, obviously, I have more space anyway, so my intentions are to grow more than we need so that I can, in fact, freeze quite a lot to use later on in the season. Well, perfect. It's another one to take to the polytunnel. The very last beans I'm sowing today are these Bellotti beans. I'm going to guess that I sow them with this bit pointed up. Can you see that little bit on there? I don't know. Because I'm not sure, I'm planting them on the side, but I am planting them with that bit facing up. My afternoon mojo has been restored with a bit of a sojo grojo. I'm going to take these three trays of beans to the polytunnel and I'll catch you in the next video. Look after yourselves. Bye.